to get going Gotta catch those runners taking off like a Boeing If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus It's all about the price, just watch it move Manage your risks so you don't lose First hour of trading is all we need Focus on the patience and forget about greed Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's day trading live stream. Today is Thursday, September 19th. Big move overnight after FOMC yesterday. S&P up 95, NASDAQ up 460, about two and a third percent. Same with Russell. Russell's up 51 points, about two and a third percent. Dow up 509. Gold up a little bit, silver up almost 2%, notes and bonds lower, 10-year yield up 1.6%. Uh, let's see, oil up about 1%, natty gas down over 1%, soybeans green, corn and wheat red, euro in the pound a little bit red, Bitcoin up over 5%, VIX getting crushed, down 10%, sitting at 1644 In the house, Ken. I am in the house. Hopefully we get some good price action today. Things are moving. We will be trading the one-day options today. Strikes will be right around the money. I usually go slightly out of the money. One strike out of the money. On my board that you see here, I've got Apple, Amazon, CrowdStrike, Coinbase, Tesla, NVIDIA, Netflix, Meta. On another monitor, I've got AMD, Baidu, BA, Roku, Goog, Microsoft, MU, and Square. If you guys see any others moving, let me know. At about two minutes till the open. Don't have any double calendars on or anything that I need to deal with this morning, so be good to go. Did put on a, a double butterfly to transform, so I'm just going to put in a uh, an order really quick, just in case. I will do a. Uh, I'm going to do an early and a late Rick. Those are going to be just automated with my bot, so. Might have to check in on those, but otherwise, we get to go to focus on the day trades. SP is going to open at a new all time high. Ticked a new all time high yesterday after FOMC first came out, retraced. Back up. There's the bell. SPX expected move for the day about 33.9. NDX is about 161.5. Get those marked on either charts. Where the action starts.
All right. So the S&P just kind of steadily kept going up, up, up all night after the close. After we close near the lows of day. My uh, early Rick just fired. Not a great upside profit with the uh, expected move so wide, but I'm going to leave it on, see if we get a quick move here. I'm also going to do the Thursday vol crush, 40 delta long strangle here later this morning. Assuming we don't make a big push higher. First. First. So NVIDIA poking its head above yesterday's high. These lines I have in my chart are just the previous day's high, low, open, and close. Blue is the high, yellow is the low, red is the close, white's the open. Coinbase opened above yesterday's high as well. Same with Amazon, same with Apple, Meta, almost everything. Roku dipping below yesterday's high. I like to start out with my charts zoomed out a little bit to show a couple couple days of price history. And I'll kind of zoom in to dial in on the volume and the price action today. The other thing I like to take a look at is the daily chart. So if I'm if I'm seeing a potential setup, I look I like to look at the daily chart to just give additional clues. Meta opened up at new all-time highs. Netflix was getting close, but it is not there. It's hovering a little bit below all-time highs. Coinbase is up 5%, NVIDIA is up almost 4 AMD up over 3 Ken, is that Morse code for something? <laughs> Ooh, Roku dropping. BA is positive, but dropping. Baidu coming down. We are into our second five-minute bar.
Maybe I peaked its head up above highs of yesterday and then came back down, bounced back up to it. Not seeing much volume growing quite yet in anything. Uh, I'm not doing it this morning. I'm going to see how things shake out and I might turn my bots on this afternoon. Apple continuing to push. Most uh, three minutes into this second five minute bar, not not much big volume coming in. Win is that even tradable? At the money options, 47 cents by 75 or a dollar by a dollar 40. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. NVIDIA back up to highs of day. Media pushing. SPX and NASDAQ haven't really moved much. Tesla has a growing volume bar. The first move was down, but on this push up, it's getting volume. If it continues to push with a big volume bar, I don't think it's going to get there, but it is pushing above yesterday's high. All right, no volume bars. So we see if we can get some mighty 90s or some other continuation type runners.
get some chop here above the uh, high of day uh, yesterday's high in Tesla. I would consider it an upside continuation runner, but it's early. So you guys have heard me talk a little bit about stop hunting and I, I talk about it in the uh, day trading futures class, but meta. So this is, this could be an example of a short where it flushed above the overnight high. It's coming back down. I like to give it a little bit of time. before I would do anything and I'm, I'm probably not going to take it just because everything's so strong today, but you know, that's a, uh, that's kind of a, a decent setup of, of what I look for, for, uh, for that setup. And the idea is you got a lot of people setting stops above or below the recent high or lows. They flush it and go the other way. The market's the market's always seeking liquidity before it makes a big move. Tesla starting to pull back to yesterday's high. NVIDIA pulling back. S&P coming down a little bit. Uh, lucky the the green lines that you might see on my chart, like the, these were just ones that I had levels that I had marked like on a daily chart or something, and they're just coming through. I wouldn't pay attention to those. Um, some of them I just haven't cleaned up yet, taken off. I uh, actually, I took the pivots off my charts for toss. They were just a real data hog. And then two, I just, uh, you know, with the open previous day, open high, low close and the pivots it was just, it was too, too noisy on the charts. I like to keep my charts pretty clean. So I just took the pivots off. Really the, the pivots are used just as a lot, just like any other level. It's just a line in the sand to kind of help you manage risk around
yeah, at any level is effective if you manage risk around it. MU's coming down. Roku's still coming down to yesterday's close now. Tesla had another pretty sizable volume bar. Nvidia coming back down towards yesterday's high. S and P is back down to yesterday's high. That meta trade would have worked. Tesla back back up above yesterday's high. Apple's all green. Tesla's pretty green. Google's all red since the open. Roku's mostly red since we opened. A lot of other chop. Yeah, I can't help that right now. E. Allison. There's a lot of people trading Rick, though. I'm sure somebody, somebody can help him. Got about a minute left on this bar. Tesla's back up to highs of day. So Chad looked at that. Second big volume bar is a vol runner. And when it pulled back, he got in. I don't hate it. Held above yesterday's high. How's that coming down a little bit? S&P coming down a little bit. S&P right at yesterday's high. Nvidia down to yesterday's high. Let's see if Nvidia can hold here. 
and the S&P. S&P is dipping below yesterday's high. So, Ken, ideally on a volume runner, you want to see, you know, both of them going in the same direction, but I don't, I, I'll take a volume runner like that as well, especially think about this. The market's so strong. Tesla is one of the strongest stocks on the board. So just because it had a little dip on that first bar, I would not negate that as being a volume runner if you get a big volume bar like we got there. I mean, I was I was even looking at Tesla as a possible early upside continuation runner, but the fact that it had that volume too was even even a little bonus. But I'm just being a little patient this morning. Nvidia dipping below yesterday's high. Yeah, that meta that meta. Stop hunt would have worked well. Boeing's just chop. Oh, we've ticked the all-time highs and pulled back two days in a row, yesterday and the day before. We ticked it again today. Let's see if we're going to push through or if we're going to pull back again. No, on that kind of trade, Chris, I don't want it to go back to highs. I would take it I would take it down here after it after it pulled back and kind of looked like it was committing to stay under that level that it flushed. Nvidia popping back up, SPX popping back up above yesterday's high. Tesla dip back down and popping back up again. It would have been nice to get a mighty 90 in NVIDIA as it dropped down to yesterday's high, but that volume, nothing there for us. AMD through highs of day. No, that's not even, nope, not even close, Krish. It has to flush through a previous higher low where most retail traders keep their stops. That's the whole point of it. That's why I call it a stop hunter.
Baba had a little bit higher volume than the previous one. I wouldn't take that. Same with Baidu. Baidu's Baidu's pretty decent because it's that vol, that vol spike is higher than second and third bar. But Baba's, I mean, look at the second and third bar; they're much higher. I mean, there's a little bit of separation and it's bouncing, but I wouldn't have taken Baba. Baidu, possibly. Well, are we going to get a trade today, my friends? Target, is that one tradable? I would take a long in target upside volume runner. You have to trade the 155s, bid asks kind of wide. One fifty five calls in TGT. I'm going to put my uh, profit target, or I'm going to put my order at 185. It's going to have to come down to hit it. I haven't traded target in a while. At 188. Get another growing volume bar. At 192. Filled at 192 on the 155 calls and target. I'll put my first profit target at 210. Apple, no red bars yet. You got a little bounce off that little volume pop. So AMD had a little volume pop, kind of a mighty 90 short.
Well, Tosh is taking shorts here. Apple is flying high. SPX bounced off of yesterday's high. Tesla new highs of day. Amazon bouncing off of yesterday's highs. Need Target to bounce off yesterday's high. Square bounced off yesterday's high. So if Target comes down towards the bottom of this, that green bar that had the big volume, I would add. Video dipped and popped back up. So really the one I wish I would have taken was Tesla. I actually had several opportunities as it continued to dip down, kind of chopped above yesterday's high and had that big volume bar. It's green because that bar closed above the previous bar's close. Coinbase up to highs of day. Yeah, so target kind of, you can see it kind of gaps around a little bit. So even though that bar is colored red, it's because it closed slightly below where it opened. But because it, because it, uh, closed above the previous days previous bars closed that that's why the volume bar is green Yeah, uh, other you'll see on other platforms that they don't they don't mismatch that. If the if the price bar is red, the volume bar will be red. If the price bar is green, the volume bar would be green. So that's just a that's a toss thing. The 855 volume bar is green. Or I mean the uh, the 850. Huh. All right.
So I'm going to put an add order in on target. Same strike. I'm going to put my order at uh, buck 47. No fill. Tesla's still pushing, Apple's still pushing. AMD pushing. Square pushing through highs of day with volume. All right, filled at 147 in target to add. So I'm going to put my profit target to close that ad basically at a dollar sixty-five. If we can get a bounce. And that's coming down. I do getting some volume on that bounce. Gonna need Target to bounce here. Going to need Target to bounce. I've got my finger on the trigger to to bail to get any more downside in Target. Video dip back down again, popping back up. Square getting a little reaction off that volume spike through highs of day. We didn't have such a massive gap up and strong, strong uh, action overnight. I probably would have taken that short mighty 90 and square. Uh, I probably would have taken that short mighty 90 and AMD as well, which wouldn't have worked. Which is why I didn't take that one. Let's see if square, you know, square is popping back up, so. Right, good no trade too. Target is not playing along with the rest of the boys.
Netflix bouncing. He's opened up 95, they're up about 90 still. Well, Tarjay, you're about to get cut. Boeing poked through lows of day with a little, I wouldn't call it a mighty 90, but a little bit higher volume. Targets moving like molasses. Well, Square is getting a little, little downside reaction now. He rocking. Be chopped for a few bars and then just took off. MU fell out of bed to open and almost back up to where it opened. Is not like this is not what I like to see out of a volume runner. The target. You really want to see it. Little little pullback and then take off pretty quickly. But everything else is staying pretty strong, so I'm gonna hold for Unless we move a little bit lower. Video almost back up to highs of day. 
Apple paused and took another rip up. The re so I like I like when price comes down. Yeah, it had that. Yeah, I would I, that red volume bar right there. I don't necessarily like either, but I do like when, like, say, like this, where the stock's coming down, and then its first bounce is a big volume bar. Those are some of my favorites. But yeah, I don't like that the red volume bar there first. But it's pretty much an unchanged candle, so I didn't I didn't mind it too much. I just honestly, I don't know if I can trust the volume in Target. It's so low. It's not a stock I like to trade. Krish talked me into it. Like he does every bad trade. <laughs> Did he have poke three highs of day? All right, so Boeing got a little volume pop. Kind of punch through into red territory and bounce. What's the daily chart on Boeing look like? Not great. I'll pass on BA. Pass on BA. Yeah, that Tesla one should be a nice, nice one for you. Netflix poking through highs of day. Coinbase keeps ticking at highs of day. One base pushing through highs of day.
S and P pausing at highs of day. Nasdaq is pushed through highs of day and pausing. Nice trades, Chadwick. Looking at MU as kind of a uh, upside continuation slash rebound runner. Push back up above yesterday's high, still below today's high. I'm still in target. My late Rick just fired. AMD continuing to push up almost 6%. NVIDIA up 5%. Target is coming back down a little bit. It's got a bounce here. I'm looking at MU. It came down, had a nice reaction off of yesterday's high. I'm going to I'm going to get in here and then I'm going to add if it comes back down towards yesterday's high for an upside continuation runner, upside rebound runner. So I'm on the 89 calls in MU. 89 calls in MU. Filled at a buck 36. Like I said, if it pulls back some more, I'll I'll add a little bit. First profit target in MU. A dollar fifty. Target staying alive. MU pushing. Netflix pushing. S and P new highs. Filled at a dollar fifty in MU. I'm gonna put another target right at highs of day. So I will estimate that at say let's try a dollar sixty. So I'll shed some more to buck sixty. NDX pushing, SPX new all time highs.
Target is not playing along. Amazon pushing. Amazon trading over 190. It's all-time high is 201. Netflix trading at 708, all time high 711. Target, are you going to participate? You look like you want to. You look like you want to. Now we need some follow through. Coinbase pushed through highs of day after it chopped for a while. Still have my first uh, profit target. From my ad in uh, Target at a dollar sixty five. Looks like it's trading for about a dollar sixty. Need one more little push out of MU to hit my second profit target. Apple is rocking. Couple little pauses, but all green otherwise. It's at four percent. Nothing like a multi trilly company jumping four percent in a day. Same with NVIDIA up five percent. Need one more push at a target. Well, I need more than one push. Need a little push to hit the first profit target. MU taking a little pause, didn't quite get there. Our short volatility trades in uh, VXX and UVXY are liking this. Target hit at $1.65. So that was my ad I got out of. Still have my original trade on that I got in at $1.92. Is that right? Yeah, dollar ninety-two. Oh yeah, I got it when I just pulled back to yesterday's high. So we're pushing now. Got my next profit target at 210 in target. I may reduce that one. In fact, I'm just going to bring that down to two bucks, book a little bit on that first entry. We can still continue to push. Netflix is not a mighty 98, so definitely a volume bar. 
and it just ticked through all-time highs probably. It sure did. Netflix new all-time high. MU pulling back didn't quite hit my second profit target. Need target back up to highs of day. BA and that, uh, Mighty 90 and BA that I passed on. Nice bounce in BA. That one's working. So let's see, is Netflix going to pull back at all or is it just going to keep ripping? I mean, it hit that all time high back on 820 and then it made a couple attempts and never got back. And now we. are pushing through so this could certainly be one of those continuation pushes through I'm going to put an order in on Netflix on the uh, 715 calls Put my order at uh, three, three thirty. So if it pulls back a little bit more. Three thirty filled. That's the 715 calls. Netflix filled at 330. Put my first profit target is 370. I'm going to move that to 380. It's more than 10%, but I, just, I want price to pop back up to highs of day. MU, a little pullback. Target, pause above yesterday's high. Uh, 
S and P a little pause below all time highs. I've got a piece of my long target left, a piece of my long MU left, and I just got long Netflix. One more little pop, should hit it. Build at 380 in Netflix. I'll put my next profit target at 415. We push through highs. I may not even need to push through highs. Let's go with. 4.30. Target still coming. Build and target it, two bucks. It'd come back from Target. I'll put another profit target and target it. 220. MU look like it's starting to bounce again, but Pulling back. I'm going to get out of my MU. Build it a buck twenty seven to close out the rest of my MU. So small, small profit there. I didn't like the price action here. Netflix did not push through highs. And we're back down to our entry. I'm going to go ahead and close my target, kind of wrapping things up here. Filled at $1.91 on the rest of my target. Netflix has got a bounce here.
Coinbase pulling off of its highs. Tesla chopping. Starting to see a little pullback in the NASDAQ and the S&P. If I was, if I wanted to sit here and babysit this, I'd consider adding to Netflix as it, when it pulled back again, but I need to be done after I get, get out of here. So. going to hold what I've got. Also going to enter a vol crash. Oh, wait. Are we up too much? No, we're good. Build on the 40 Delta Vol Crash, $20.25. All right, Netflix, just need one more pop. One more pop through highs. NASDAQ and S&P pulling back. Got my next profit target on Netflix at 430. It's trading for four bucks. It's a pop above highs of day. MU came back down to yesterday's high. Looks like it's reacting off of it again. Netflix filled at 430. Shed another one at Five dollars. See if this thing really wants to rip. Hmm. Didn't quite get there. Build a five dollars. So I got one a one lot left. In Netflix. Well, let's, I'm just going to put it up at six bucks for now. And sign off. Market's pulling back. Netflix staying strong. I'll keep my last contract as a runner. All right, all. Didn't start off so hot with uh, Target holding us down, but Target came through. And you as a little winner, Netflix, nice winner. I'll post my total once I get out of Netflix here. Everybody have a good day. Chad will be back on the mic tomorrow.
Take care. Have a good rest of your day. Cheers.